What's going on guys, Roscoe here, back with another video. So I wanna cover the Yeezy Calabasas track pants that's dropping tomorrow. Uh, I've been waiting to drop this video, I wanted to drop this video a couple days ago, but I mean, there's been no pics leaked, you know, as far as what they're officially gonna look like till, you know, till Yeezy Mafia officially dropped one today. I don't even know how this man gets all this stuff. I, th I, th I know he lives out in the EU, but I know he doesn't work for Yeezy because that whole Kim fiasco tried shutting him down. I don't know, this, it's mad weird. I, I'm trying to figure that out. My sources are on it though. I'm gonna figure that out. But in this video, I wanna cover like the quality. Is it worth even buying? You know, is it buy worth buying for resale? You know, what are the stock numbers? I have some of the stock numbers for you guys so you guys can take a look at that too as well. But before I dive into that stuff, uh, I just wanna make a couple of announcements. One, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway again. You know, we're gonna do a giveaway once we hit 5K, which is super close. I think we're at like 4,500, I think. So once we hit 5K, I'm gonna do another crazy giveaway like I did last time. If you're new to my channel and you weren't around for the first giveaway, what I did was I gave like a Supreme shirt, a Supreme hat, Supreme socks to like three different winners. Uh, so if you wanna get ahead now, you wanna get ahead to start, uh, here's my Instagram right here, R-O-S-Z-K-O underscore 72. Give me a follow on my Instagram uh, because when I do the giveaway, I do the uh, I do like the whole, I pick them live. So I go on IG live and I just pick the winners there. It's a lot easier. So if you want, give me a follow. Plus my stories is pretty dope, right guys? My stories is pretty dope. I leak all my information, all the pics I find. I put it all in my stories. But now let's talk about the Calabasas track pants. Let's just dive into it. So there was a pic leaked today right here. This is the Luna colorway of the pants. The Luna colorway is the... Uh, if you're not familiar with Luna, it's like a dark, dark navy uh, into that black range. So I know they look black here, but it's like, it's on the borderline. They're not black, but they're, they're like that dark, dark, dark navy. So that's officially picked. They look really good with the 700s. If you copped a pair of 700s, you should cop this right here. These look nice. They do look nice uh, with the 700s. So that's, that's the Luna, and then we haven't got a picture of the ink. Uh, color which is just probably like it's just gray. It's like this gray probably similar to this color right here. Uh Gray track pants. I'm a, I probably I like those. I'm, I'm interested to see a picture of those but probably won't find those till tomorrow. So those two are dropping tomorrow for $120 USD. So uh, here are the stock numbers. Right here. I'll put the stock numbers here. Look like they're going to be around around 9,000. Now this is just for Adidas. Uh, how do I get this information you're probably wondering. Well it's not really too hard if you know someone that knows how to use computers. Uh, they can check like the stuff. They can check like <laughs> what's loaded onto Adidas and see like what the sizing and everything and what is what. So there's about 9,000 pairs on each uh, on each colorway. This is Adidas US. This is Adidas US. So that tells me right away. That's not including the small shops, the mom and pops, like the S and S, uh, the Yeezy Supply, and everything like that. Uh, this there's no, going to be no resale value. This should be a, just a personal pickup. Um, the only recommendation, recommendation I would say for as far as resale is concerned, uh, the only money I see in it is if you pick them up at the store, you don't pay for shipping, and you sell them right there and then. So that way you don't have to sell through a third party, uh, and then you lose money through the transaction fees and everything like that, and the shipping costs. So if you like live in New York City, or if you live in Boston, or like me, uh, and you can just sell them right on the street to someone, that's probably, we're going to make your most profit there. Because I can see them being, like I said, they're 120 USD. Resale probably might be 175, 185. But they'll just maybe jump up to 200, maybe, possibly. But even that with the transaction fees, you're looking at maybe like a $25 profit, $30 profit. Is that worth it? I don't know. That's up to you. So those are dropping. That's the two, that's the stock number for it. Now, I do have a pair of the maroon ones that dropped last year. A lot of people had questions when I posted that when I posted this uh, uh, that picture when I posted that everyone had questions regarding sizing so let's just talk about sizing real quick. Uh, I wear a waist like a, I wear like a 32 to a 34 waist, uh, so I went with a large. So I went with a large. If you're like a 32, 34, uh, go with a large. Uh, now it fits a little baggy, just like the picture did. Uh, if you want it skin tight, go size down. If you're into that style, if you want the track pants to hug your legs. Uh, size down. I don't recommend sizing up though because they don't have an elastic. This is just straight band. There's no elastic to tie around your waist. 
Uh, so you want to get the sizing right around the waist because if you don't like you'll have to like roll it And then it doesn't look good on guys girls. They can get away with it. They can roll it. It looks good looks very nice on them But as far as guys is concerned. No, don't do that. So you really want to get the um, The sizing around the waist, right? So I believe like an like this is a what I say this is a large so I wear I think the large is like a 34 and XL is like a 38 and then a double XL I think is like 40 and then if you go down, I think, what? What did I say? Medium's like a 32. Uh, and then a small might be 28, I think. I think so. I might be right on that. I might be wrong. Uh, the only reason why I get a large is because I'm 6'5", so I have long legs. So I have to adjust and, uh, the waist. So I have to sacrifice the waist for the length. Uh, but, yeah, they fit boot baggy. Now, as far as, like, quality is concerned, they're very, very nice. For, especially for 120 bucks, the quality is there on these pants. Uh, a lot of people ask me if the Calabasas does, cr if it cracks. Dude, I've been wearing these like non-stop, no cracks. Absolutely no cracks in the logos at all. They get washed, very easy. Um, you just wash them. You don't even need that, really need that. You can just air dry them. You don't need to put them in the dryer. Uh, but, yeah. So no cracks. They last, this has been, like, these dropped last year and I wear them all the time. Especially in the fall, too. Now, as far as, like, comfort is concerned, uh, they're super comfortable, like they're perfect for like, if, these are perfect if you want to wear them just to go to like do errands, grocery store, hang out with your friends, or you can wear them, these are stylish too as well, uh, but they're not super thick, they're not super thick, so that's a plus right there, so, but like in the winter time, these not might be good, uh, for the winter, but for the fall, they're perfect, and they're not super thin, they have, they're 100% nylon, I believe, so they're 100% nylon, yeah, they're 100% nylon, so, like I said, they're not thick, they're not super thick, and they're not super light, so they're just like in that middle range. So, uh, but yeah, that's all about really the pants. I did pick up the black colorway too, but I picked, I gave that to my sister, uh, so she rocks them. But if you if you're interested in these, I think you should go for them. But again, I think you should get them from person for personal. And um, they, like I said, they'll look good with the 700s. They'll look if you picked up the creams, the cream 350s. They look nice. They might not these. They might not look good with the new 700s that are dropping, because those are like a dark brown. Uh, purplish color so that might not work uh, I don't know if you've seen like sneaker news they po they posted a video today with the shoe giving you a review which whew, those are really really nice uh, they might these these look good with the zebras the zebras are coming November 9th stock numbers on those I'll give you those real quick that's looking like 120,000 to 140,000 pairs uh, so that's that's gonna be that could be an easy W for you guys if you're interested in those so uh, as far as like the 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 700s, the new 700 colorway is like 85,000. Those are gonna be a little bit tougher to get. They always do that with Yeezy. Um, they'll drop like a shoe. They'll drop like the 700s like at like 85,000. But if you miss out in a couple weeks, we'll drop a 350 with uh, you know with a 350 with a lot more stock. So if you miss out, you have a better chance getting it the next time around. Um, we also got news too. The V3, the Easy 350 V3 is coming quarter one of next year. Quarter one of next year is usually like January to May. So right around there, we're going to get a V3. There's no picks. I don't have any picks right now. But once I do, again, follow me on IG. I'll post it on IG once I get the picks for them. So the Static, Static's got pushed back. I hate to say that, but the Static 350s got pushed back because uh, just through uh, production, there was production issues. Apparently, which makes sense because the 3M on the knit is super hard to make. Uh, I do have, I possibly do have a pair of fake statics coming. Some idiot sending me a pair of steak, uh, steak, <laughs> that's probably why I'm hungry. Uh, sending me a pair of fake statics, so I'll give you guys a look at those. And while you're asking why do I take all these fake uh, 350s, because I do legit checks and I want to, you know, like I said, I want to help you guys legit, legit check sneakers, so how can I legit check them, find all the fake, and see what's wrong with them, see the differences, and that way when I get a real pair, I can do, I can make a video here, into a, like, you know, like I did last time, how to, like, pick them out, and how do you can spot fakes. Uh, I also have a pair, I'm also doing the 700s, I have that coming, uh, how to spot 700s, you guys killed that video. So, once I get my, once I get, like, the 700s in, I'll have them all roll out, have you guys pick the fakes, see if you guys can pick it, and I can tell you, like, how to pick the fakes on those, so... Guys, that's it really for now. Uh, be on the lookout too for a Q&A video. I might do that with the giveaway. So uh, 
I know I'm rambling on, but I want to get all this information out in this video. So, guys, let me know if you're picking up the, the Calabasas track pants, and if you are, what colorway you want to go for. I know maybe a lot of people might go for the Luna, but I'm thinking I'm leaning, leaning for the, link, the ink pair, only because uh, dark colored pants are always tough when you have a dog because he sheds out over them. And when you go out and you just like go on with it's like a girl or something, you're covered in dog hair. It's not a good look. <laughs> it's not a good look at all. But guys, that's my video for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And you can always count on me to give you up-to-date news as far as Yeezy, anything Yeezy, sneakers, clothing, anything like that. You can always count on me. So, guys, hey, like always, I will catch you in the next video. Peace. Enjoy your night.